Okay, a very welcome to you, dear students. Um, this is the very um, video where we will start creating the certificate work, okay? And um, of course, we have saved our document as certificate in the earlier exercise, okay? Now it's time to start creating. By the way, this is what we are going to be creating. Okay, and of course, it's, we are going to be using MS Publisher to do so. All right, so let's just get started with it. The first thing we want to create is the background um, color. Okay, this background color, this brownish background color, and the blue shape on top here. So that's what we seek to create for this very video we'll be taking it step by step all right so let's just go back to our publisher okay now um first thing we need to do is we need to insert a shape okay so just go to the insert menu left click on insert okay then go to left click on shapes go to shapes and left click on shapes then you are going to see this option that says rectangle left click on it then go to the edge okay of your certificate work area all right just go to the edge like this let the center of the cross be at the edge here then left click and hold down your left mouse button then start to drag now make sure you drag it in such a way that it perfectly fits the work area let it not lag let it not over lag let it fit the work area perfectly like this okay then you release your hand okay now let me go to this um bar here and scroll up a bit to get it to around here okay now having done this remember we want to change it to a brownish color but if you look at it very well, if you look at the reference very well, you see that it's kind of it's kind of fading from a light brown to a lighter brown at the center. Okay, we want to give it this effect. Okay, so let's go back. Now, having done this, make sure you are currently selected on your shape. Okay, currently this blue shape is selected. How do we know it is selected? Because it has these four corner this corner nodes okay showing around it let me just zoom out a bit so that excuse me let me just zoom yes like this now it has these corner nodes showing around it that is the proof that you are currently selected on it if i left click away you can see that it's no longer showing so we are no longer selected on it now for us to change the color of this thing, we have to be selected on it. So you left click on it to be selected on it. And once you left click on it to be selected on it, this new menu bar shows up. These are all menu bars, okay? But this one shows up, okay? Watch again. If I left click away from it, you can see that the format menu bar is no longer here. But once I left click on it, the format menu bar appears, all right? So we need it to appear so that we can adjust the styling of the shape. So we just quickly need to go to the option that says shape fill, okay? Shape fill. Then you left click on the arrow beside that shape fill. Now, we will not just go and click on a plain color like this one now. No, we will not click on that because we want to create a, a color blending of light brown with a lighter brown so where we will go to is this gradient option okay so just take your mouse to this gradient option and slide to this pane that shows up now let go to this place called more gradients and left click okay so this shows up this actually shows up okay now this is the place where you can mix two or more colors, as many colors as you want together. So if you can look at this bar here, 
this is white color this is blue color so this is a mixture of blue and white okay so now we want to change let's say we want to change this particular color this one to the darker brown so make sure you are selected on this particular um, node okay make sure you are selected on this particular node okay now how you know you are selected is that this orange outline pane is around it so after you do that you come to this place that says color left click on the arrow there okay then choose choose this light color this one let's use this one that says accent four and left click on it okay then you come and left click on this one okay left click on this one and go back to color and now choose don't choose this accent choose this one on top it and left click on it okay okay i can see that there is okay let me just quickly do that again it looks like there was a node behind it before so let me just redo what i did okay left click on this come to this one and left click on this okay so having done this the next thing we want to do is we want to change the gradient type from linear to what we call path okay this linear path okay it's like in a line form but this path is like in a circular form the way you to to apply the blending you see what i mean when we apply it so let click and change it to path then press ok okay so if you look closely okay you see that see you can see that here is a bit lighter than here so that is the effect we have just created okay yeah so having done this please remember to save your work so hold down control control on your keyboard and tap s tap s to save so we've currently applied the gradient effect okay on our work area 